guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a fun look for you. As you guys can tell, purples and pinks. I love purples and pinks. If you guys have brown eyes, this is some bomb eyeshadow colors for you. So anyways, with that said, I have the ColourPop My Little Pony collection. Now, just to let you guys know, they did send this to me in PR, and I do have to say I am surprised that they even sent it to me in PR. If you guys have me on Snapchat, you guys already know this, but just in case you guys don't, I got kicked off of the PR list uh, maybe about six months or so ago when I was like, I fucking hate uh, ColourPop's dark liquid lipsticks. They just don't work for me. They're very dry. They crumble off. You can't reapply. And they've done me wrong so many times. So I just don't like them. I never recommend them to anybody. And after that, they stopped sending me shit, which I was like, okay, cool. That's fine. You know, whatever. But I do think it is a little bit messed up of a brand to take somebody off the PR list just for being honest. I'm like, that's what I'm put here to do is to be honest. And I'm like, honestly, all of uh, ColourPop's other products, I fucking love. It's just a dark liquid lipsticks. I'm like, uh, nope, they just don't work for me. So anyways, I just, I thought that that was a little bit weird that they sent me this collection, but they did, and I posted it on Snapchat, and you guys were like, bitch, you need to review it. I had so many screenshots and shit asking me to review it, so that's what I'm doing for you guys. So let's go ahead and go over what's in the collection. Now, I have a little price sheet here, so there is a brush set in this collection, and this does retail for $22, and you guys, I don't even need to say anything, you guys could just look at it and just... You guys will you guys will see in the video, okay? I reviewed it, but you could just look at it and you could know how I feel about it. Uh, next thing on the list is the My Little Pony makeup bag. Now, this is $18, but it is super fucking cute, and I will say the quality feels really good. Like, it feels very thick and sturdy, and the zipper feels good, too. So, it has a little pony on the little zipper here, and then it has My Little Ponies on the inside. So, it's super fucking cute, and it feels like good quality. Uh, let's see. What's next on the list? The Super Shock eyeshadow. So, there are three of them. I'm wearing two of them on my lids right now. So, this is what the packaging looks like. I will say right off the fucking bat, though. The packaging is so cute to this collection. I don't even like My Little Pony, and this packaging is so fucking cute. And they changed the color of it this time. It's lilac to match the My Little Pony theme, so it's fucking adorable. Next on the list is the powder highlighters. However, they didn't send those to me, so those are only $8. And I know a lot of people were like, bitch, I've seen the highlighters. Please review them, but I don't have them, so I'm sorry that's not going to be in this video. I'm wearing a different brand's highlighter. Now, next is the Ultra Glossy Lips. So there are three glossy lips. This is the one that I'm wearing right now, but this is the packaging for the glossy lips and for the matte lips and it is so fucking cute and these are only six dollars the glass is six dollars the lipstick is six dollars so that's pretty bomb deal you know and the eyeshadow palette where is the eyeshadow palette did i just lose that shit somewhere hold up hold up here it goes here it goes look how fucking cute this is this is so cute maybe it's because i'm a big old fag that's why i like it but i think it is so cute now the inside Nah, I kind of feel like it's whatever, you know what I mean? I thought My Little Pony was going to be bright colors like blues and pinks and bright purples and this is kind of toned down for what I was expecting it to be but I obviously did a look with it and you guys will be able to see the quality, the swatches and all that good stuff. Now this does retail for $16 so that's a pretty good deal for all the shadows that you get but you guys will have to see in the video how the quality is. So yeah, that's all the stuff out of the way. Also, I forgot to mention, you know what? They sent this to me too in the package. I don't know if if this is for sale, but this is so fucking cute. Like I said, I don't even like My Little Pony, but it's so cute. And then it has the ColourPop My Little Pony on the back. And on the inside, it's full of little fucking ponies. Look at that. To match the packaging. It's so fucking cute. I don't know if they sell that, but if they do, this is like really thick and sturdy quality. So it's pretty bomb. Um, and I don't know the price on that because it's not on here either. But like I said, if they do sell that, you should copy one of them because it's pretty bomb. Anyways, if you guys are interested in seeing my review and tutorial on this look, of course, go ahead and keep on watching. As always, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. That's what it's there for, for you to hit it. You know what I'm saying? So hit the thumbs up button and make sure you guys subscribe and go ahead and keep on watching and see how I like this collection. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. Like right here this is really fucking cute I don't even like my little pony and I think this is really cute and then this is what the palette looks like right here very gay so this looks like it'll be at a pride festival this year just kidding um, and this is what the inside of the palette looks like I do feel like it's kind of like whatever I'm expecting because of the packaging to be all pink and purples and blues I thought it was gonna be something very vibrant but this to me looks very wearable and I was expecting something a little bit different but overall the actual aesthetic of it is really pretty and you have your little uniform horns all over here so we'll go ahead and get into the swatches okay so the names of the eyeshadows are on the back now I'm stupid when it comes to this okay you guys I don't know if it goes from left to right or if it's just right behind it I don't know but I'm assuming this shade is butterscotch so I'm gonna go with this shade I'm thinking is blue ball 
because, or Blue Bell, I mean, not <laughs> Blue Ball. <laughs> uh, Blue Bell, because this looks like a butterscotch shade. So I don't know. So right here, we're going to go in with Blue Bell. And this is just a little white. And there goes that there. Kind of like whatever. And then the next shade, Starshine. Yeah, it's okay. That's decent. Or I'm sorry, that shade was called Blossom, not Starshine. This is Starshine right here. And that one is really pretty. Then the shade Butterscotch. And that one's really pretty as well. Very pigmented. And this is the shade Applejack, which is a very mauve shade. That one's actually really pigmented. Like, really, really pigmented. And this one is called Sky Dancer. And that one is very sheer. Like, very, very sheer. And this next one is called Minty, which makes no sense to me whatsoever. And there goes that right there. And that one's pigmented as well. That one looks like it has a lot of, um, like, fallout to it, but we'll see. And the next shade, Flutterby, which is like a peachy shade. And that one is very sheer as well. All right, then the Black Twilight down here, which in I think that they should have done is did like a really deep purple, but that's just my opinion. There goes that there, which that is a pretty decent black right there. And the next shade, Firefly, which is a silver. That one's pretty too. And then the next shade, Snuzzle, which this looks like it has an iridescent blue to it. It's very, very sheer. But yeah, it has a very iridescent blue to it. I mean, very sheer iridescent blue to it, I meant to say. And then the last shade is Princess Sparkle. And there goes that. Now, overall, looking at these swatches right here, you guys, honestly, I'm just kind of like, eh. I'm not really impressed. I think the packaging is fucking cute. And I think that they could have done something way more colorful and way more fun. But these colors, to me, don't scream My Little Pony. Like, these right here and the blue do, but the rest can go. And these are the three super shock eyeshadows. As you can tell, this one right here is broken. You guys, every single time they've sent me shadows before, um, super shock shadows, I mean specifically, they always come broken because they're super, super soft. Do you guys have the same problem? I'm not complaining. They sent it to me for free. I'm just throwing that in there. Okay, so getting on to the swatches of this. This one right here is called Sunbeam. This shade, I kind of dipped into it a little bit yesterday because the edge was popping up and I was like, holy shit, it is beautiful. So look, I'm just going to go around very softly because these are very, very creamy creamy look at that you guys oh my gosh I don't know if the camera is picking it up but it's a like lilac purple with pink pink shimmer it is beautiful I love that shade the next shade is called posy which is kind of like a champagne shade let's see champagne with like a I can't you know what I can't tell what kind of sparkles in that but we'll see right now these honestly feel wet I don't know if you guys have felt them before Let's see. That one is pretty sheer, and that does have like a pink shimmer to it too. All right, and then this shade right here, I have to be very careful with because it is broken, um, is a white with a pink shimmer. So all of them kind of have, oh shit, all of them kind of have pink shimmer. This one right here has like a lot of pink shimmer. I don't know if you can see the iridescence on that, but it is really fucking pretty. Look at that. Honestly, as far as the packaging goes, they fucking killed it. Like this is so cute. And this is the packaging for the glossy lips and matte lips. So there's three ultra matte lips and three ultra glossy lips. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them on my hand. Um, I'm only gonna pick one shade to wear on my lips today because I'm not trying to do all the swatches on my lips. That's gonna take forever. This is what the glosses look like. I don't know if you can tell, but there is a shit ton of shimmer in there. So I'm super excited for these right here. So I'll go ahead and do the swatches of these first. So I'm going to go ahead and take, oh, this doesn't have a shade on it. So the pink one is called Dream Castle. We'll start, start with that first. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has, it's not silver. It's like a lilac top. And I think it's very beautiful. So we'll do the swatch there. Don't mind the shimmer from the uh, Super Shock Shadows. But oh my gosh, that is beautiful. I love that. The next one is called Flutter Valley, and this is like a pretty gold with silver shimmer. Let's see that one right here. Oh, that's really beautiful too. Do you guys see that? It's like a, a pink and silver shimmer to that. There we go. Sorry, I wasn't hitting the light. Okay, and the last one, which the one I think I'll be wearing today, this one is called Ponyland. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. Do you guys see that? So those are the three glosses right there. I'll go ahead and swatch the ultra mattes now. So this one right here is called Moon Dancer. 
So it's like a deep plum, like, well, I would say with like almost a gray undertone to it because it looks like a deep gray plum. Then this is the shade called Pinwheel. And it is a bright pink, really, really bright. That's pretty. And then the shade that I think I'll be wearing today called Lemon Drop. And I don't know why this is called Lemon. This is a lilac shade. I don't get it, but oh yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wear this with a gloss. All right, guys, so starting this off, I'm gonna go ahead and take the brush set, which retails for $22. And you do get five brushes in it. Honestly, you guys, like, just looking at this, it does seem very cheap. But I'm gonna go ahead and put some blush on with the little blush contour brush here. Oh yeah, it feels really cheap and stiff. Um, I mean, as you guys can tell, I mean, it's cute if you guys are like makeup collectors because it does say My Little Pony times ColourPop and it has a cute little lilac tip. But I mean, for 22 bucks, I think you're better off just getting single brushes. But I'm going to go ahead and take a blush. And you guys know I never like to wear blush, but I thought for this look it would go good. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on with this brush right here. And I'm taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, I mean Mineralized Blush in Warm Soul. And I'm just going to put some, oh yeah, that's really fucking stiff. You guys, I know I never really wear blush on my channel, but this is by far my favorite blush literally of all time. Warm Soul, because I don't know, as soon as you guys, I don't know if you could tell, I have to look at the viewfinder, but as soon as I put it on, it just gives the skin a pretty ass glow. It's almost like a highlight and a blush in one. But the reason why I like this one so much is it's a, it's actually a bronzy pink. I bitch can't talk about it. But it's a, it's a, it's a <laughs> but it's a bronzy pink, so it's not like too pink, you know. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is take this fan brush right here, and this one does feel a little bit softer than the first brush, um, but it is super thin. I think it could have been thicker. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the highlight now. I'm taking Festival Love by Saucebox, which you guys know is my favorite highlighter ever, and you guys can use code Tin Man for ten percent off if you guys like it. So the brush is like not the worst thing in the world, but it's definitely not the best. Like, I don't know, I would honestly pay maybe a dollar for this. I wouldn't pay $22 for the brush set. It just, it is very cheap. Okay, sorry if the lighting changed. I just realized that I had my lighting set up backwards. So I was like, wait, I was looking a little bit dim. But anyway, so the face brushes, honestly, I mean, they do feel really cheap. They're very light. I don't see why this brush set is $22, to be honest with you guys, because I mean, they just feel really cheap, you know? They feel like like kids makeup brushes, like for little babies, but maybe that's what they're gearing this towards though, because this definitely does seem like a kid collection, obviously being that it is My Little Pony, but I think for 22 bucks, the quality could have been a little bit better because obviously adults are gonna use it too, since it is actual makeup. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and go in with the eyes, and there is a blending brush in here, so I'm gonna take the blending brush. You guys, I have a feeling that I'm just gonna end up like not you, oh hell. No, this feels stiff as hell. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna try it though, okay? So I'm gonna try it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this like a lavender looking shade, not lavender, way off, mauve looking shade called Flutter By. And oh hell no, you guys. This is so stiff when I dipped into it, it just like dug into the shadow. Wow. Okay, so I'm just gonna give it a go. By the way, my eyes are primed. I use my MAC Paint Jelly Paint Pot as usual. And I have a feeling I'm not gonna use this, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay, so I'm done with the brush, honestly. This is shitty and I just do not like it. So I'm gonna go in with my regular MAC 224. Got my MAC 224 now and going in still with that shade Flutter By. And I will say though, this shade is really pigmented. So, and it's blending out nicely so far. It's just that brush was way too stiff and like bouncing product off of my eye. So I was like, oh no. Okay, so that shade blended out really nicely. So now what I'm gonna do is go in with the shade Minty, which is a little bit of a deeper plum, this one right here. And I'm taking my Morphe M514, and I'm just gonna deepen up the crease a little bit with that, because I am gonna be going in with that purple shade from the Super Shock little part of it. So what I'm gonna do is just take this right on top of where I went with that, and just deepen up the crease. So 
Okay, now to blend this out just a little bit, I'm gonna be taking this peachy shade right here, just to get a little bit of like peach ombre-ness in there. And I'm just gonna take that like basically right up on the brow bone, just to buff out any harsh lines, harsh edges, I mean. Same shit, you know. I kind of feel like this shade just blends out into like non-existence, but maybe you need a lot of it because it is a light shade. Okay, I feel like that shade just doesn't show up. Yeah, it's like not there. But I mean, it did help blend out the pink. So I guess technically it did its job, but it is very sheer. Okay, now I'm taking a little bit of the shape tape to cut out my crease. Just a little, I say just a little, but I cut that bitch out every time. Okay, then I'm gonna take just a little bit of the uh, Too Faced Shadow Insurance, or I mean glitter glue, the fuck, shadow insurance. And I'm just gonna lay this on top because those Super Shock shadows do kind of get a little bit messy. So I'm just gonna put that on, that way they stay in place and don't get everywhere. Then I'm gonna be taking the Pretty Purple shade, this one I was like in love with, called Sunbeam. Now, remember, these are super soft, so what I like to do is wet my brush just a little bit. Now, that's not to get pigment, but that's just to keep from getting fallout because they're super soft, so it's very, very easy to get a lot of fallout. Holy shit. Okay, this shade is so fucking pretty, so let's hope it applies the way it looks. Now, with these shades, make sure you guys tap them on. I don't know if you guys see how I'm just lightly tapping. Then I'm gonna dip back into the palette with this blue down here in the bottom corner and I'm gonna smoke that out kind of into the outer corner right here. Then I'm gonna go back in with my Morphe M507 and then just blend that out. Okay, so now to smoke out the lower eye, I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade and this shade right here, the same two that I did in the crease, and I'm gonna take my MAC 242 and just buff that bitch on out. Yeah, so make sure you guys just get a little bit on your brush when doing this because you only need a little bit, and if you take too much, they are kind of powdery, but like, don't get me wrong, they do blend out really nice. But what I mean by that is if you get too much pigment on your brush, it that shit will fucking go everywhere. Like when I picked up too much, I was like, oh my God, I'm getting it everywhere. So just pick up a little bit. And I will say that definitely for the price, like so far, it's really good. Everyone was telling me all about the uh, Yes Please palette, the one that's supposed to be the Natasha, Den Natasha Denona um, dupe, but I haven't been able to get my hands on it because I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna buy that shit after the drama with them, but um, I think it would definitely be good if it's any quality like this. You know what, these shadows, they blend out really easily. Like really, really easily, I'm super surprised. Okay, then I'm gonna take the shade Cherry's Jubilee. I feel like I didn't say this name earlier when I was doing the swatch of it, but this is Cherry's Jubilee. <laughs> I did the swatch and didn't even say the damn name. Um, so this is the one that's like white with like a pink shimmer. And I'm gonna take that as my inner corner highlight. Okay, so now that I got that eye all done, I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some liner, lashes, do the other eye, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I got the eyes all done, so I'm gonna go in with the lips right now. I just wanted to let you guys know, this mascara I've been using, it's from the Buxom brand. Um, they sent it to me in PR, and I just wanna let you guys know that this one's called Big T's. It is fucking amazing, I love it. Um, I'm gonna post, like, if you guys have my Snapchat, I'll like do my lashes before and after, so that way you guys can see, because it's very rare that I like really love a mascara. As you guys know, the one that I love forever is the um, Makeup Forever Excessive Lash, that's been my baby, but this one's pretty badass. So anyways, off topic, but, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the shade called Lemon Drop, and I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on for a couple minutes too, so that way I can let you guys know how it wears, or how it feels after uh, for a couple minutes, because you guys know how I feel about the dark liquid lipsticks so this one's light so it should be good but I'll leave it on for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna put the gloss on top so let me shut my mouth so we can get this started
All right guys, so I had the lip on for about five minutes now and I actually really like it. So far it feels really good. It does have a little bit of a stick to it. You guys, I like a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of a stick because then I feel like there's more moisture in there and I'd rather have more moisture than it be like super dry and like balling off and stuff like that. I feel like I say that with every liquid lipstick but just letting you guys know. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and take the gloss Ponyland and put that on top. This gloss is so fucking beautiful. I don't know if you could see it there but let's see if you could see it on so. Put it on here. Yeah, that's so fucking pretty. Okay, so I love this gloss. It feels really good. It's not like too sticky. You know how some glosses are just like, I feel like you're like chomping on some damn super glue. I forgot to mention the lipstick and the lip gloss, they don't really have a smell to them. I'm surprised they didn't have it smell like pony shit. I thought that would be like really part of the character, you know what I mean? But no, it didn't have any smell whatsoever. So yeah, let's go ahead, now that we have the look all completed, go ahead and jump into my final thoughts on this collection. Okay guys, so my final thoughts on the palette right here. I do like it, the shadows are pigmented. I will say though, they are very powdery. So if you're using a brush, specifically a brush like with this, this type of brush, a hard brush, it's a no-go because it just dug into them. I don't know if you guys can see there. You could see where I, this shadow right here where I took that shitty ass brush and it just dug on into there and it was horrible. Now onto the brushes. These are a hell no. They were so like rough and you know with the face brush it wasn't like the worst thing in the world but that eyeshadow brush and that fan brush I'm just like come on now really and it's $22. I think you guys are better off just buying some Morphe brushes um because these were just a no-go for me. Now as far as the lips I'm only gonna give the liquid lipstick that I'm wearing what, what was that shit called again? Let me see. Lemon drop and uh, this one, Ponyland. I'm only gonna prove these ones. The rest, I can't really tell you because I haven't worn them. Um, but these two, they definitely feel good and I definitely like the color. I will say out of all three colors, I love all three colors. You guys know how I feel about the dark liquid lipsticks. I fucking hate them. But this one, it may be different. I don't know. I just put it on my hand as a little swatch. So that's one of those things you guys will have to test out for yourself. But I will say the color is absolutely gorgeous. And then for the Super Shock eyeshadows, I completely forgot to mention this, okay? So while I was like finishing up my other eye, I know Notice this when it started getting like cracky it kind of cracks right so I completely forgot because I haven't used these in such a long time when you put on too much of these they do crack in half and it's almost as if you left the the container open because if you leave the container on, open on this it dries out and just cracks so that's what it does on the lid if you put too much other than that I do love them like I really fucking love them especially this lid shade I feel like it is gorgeous like so fucking gorgeous. I wish you guys could see it in real life because I know the camera doesn't pick up the pink and the blue. It just probably looks purple to you guys, but it is fucking beautiful. Um, I do recommend those. I will just say be light-handed with it. Kind of use it as a topper rather than just as a single eyeshadow um, because it will get fucking crumbly. All right, guys, so that's my final thoughts on the um, Pony, what the fuck is this called? My Little Pony collection from ColourPop. Um, I actually really like it. And you guys, I can't get over the packaging. Like, how fucking cute is this? And for the packaging for the fucking containers like they got it spot on and I forgot to say too that it does have like a soft touch to it it feels really really good like high end packaging to me and I just feel like it's so fucking cute and if you guys have like you know, daughters or sons even that are into My Little Pony, then this would be like a cool little gift to get them too because it's so fucking cute. So overall, I'll give this a big thumbs up. I really love it, except for the brushes. They can fuck all the way off. I'm gonna give these to my little cousin because they're like toy brushes to me and it's not worth the $22. So save your money on that. The rest of the things I definitely do like. All right, guys, so that wraps up this video. I hope you guys like the look. I hope you guys like the review. Make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And turn on your post notifications so you guys get notified when I make a new video. With with that said, oh yeah, subscribe too. Make sure you hit that fucking subscribe button, okay? I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.